Detroit, first to play. Matthew Burnitz out of Delaware, 43-year-old, non-professional poker player. Well, he's on the button in position. Got a 7-8. And he's going to call, limp in and on the button. He certainly is. Ben limps in out of the small blind, and Tyler happy to see a flop with the 4-3. And how happy is he now? He flopped the joint, the best hand possible, the six high straight. Incredible. And what's more incredible is we've got Ben leading out with bottom pair. Oh, yep. Ben bets 320000 Now Tyler Patterson. Wow. Rather than slow play events, he is getting out raising chips, and he's going to raise it to 850000 And look at this. Matthew has an open-ended straight draw, so he's sticking around. Well, he calls the 850 cold, hops the fence, as we say, for 850 here with an open-end straight draw. Yeah, Ben folds, and there's an 8 on the turn. Well, this could get Matthew in big trouble now. He's got top pair and an open-end straight, but his opponent already has a straight. And Tyler with the straight right now, getting those betting chips out. Yeah, he's getting out the heavy artillery here. 1.7 million is the bet. That is big. What do you do if you're sitting in Matthew's seat? Remember, Tyler raised on the flop when Ben led out. Now he's bet 1.7 million here on the turn and got called in the nine, comes off. Oh, wow. A four card straight on the board. And this is amazing how this hand was played and what's going to happen to poor Tyler here. He's checked it. Come on. In. There you go. An all in bet here. Wow. Vince Tyler's only got about four million left. Question is, did he have to bet that much? He could chase Tyler away yeah. with this. Over 10 million in the pot. You have to specifically put your opponent on a seven to lay this hand down. No other hand can the guy have. He must have a seven in his hand. He laid it down, and what a lay down that is by Tyler Patterson.